Hello. In this video, we will present a case study to create a bouncing ball animation. So this is the animation we're going to write. So we have the canvas here, and this is the four buttons. Click the add button. You're going to start one ball. Click it again. It's another ball. And click it again. There's one ball now more and one more ball. So this is bouncing. Once it reached the edge, so it bounce physically and go into the other direction. So this is the bouncing ball. You can add more. So when you click the minus button, you can remove the last ball. So add another ball and click the remove button to remove the last ball that was just entered to the canvas. Stop, stop the animation, resume and resume the animation. So how do you write this program? We need to have a list to store all the balls. For each ball, we need to have this, the direction here, and this is the uh, dx, dy, and denotes it where it goes. And this is the current location, it's x, y, so where it is, and the color of the ball, and the uh, radius of the ball. So this is for each ball, that's the ball object. We're gonna write this program now to have this is the ball is the ball class here and for this creating a ball we get a random color so this is the get random color so this is the random color so random color you have this is the generating a random so this is the six times here and each one is a hex number so this is a six digit hex number for the color so that you can return this is the color here get this this is the color so this is the is two hex so you generate a number and from so this is red int is from 0 to 15 so that's a random number and get a hex number so convert it into a hex number right here <clears throat> so now for the bounce ball it's this is the list so this is the canvas is going to you're going to draw the balls on the canvas and this is the frame you have this four buttons and put it into the frame and now this is the sleep time and this is the is this stopped so when you click the stop button so this is stopped it's going to be true so to do the animation animate and now look at this stop is to make this is is stop true and resume you're going to is stop this force and then restart the animation um, so this is to add a new ball and this is to remove the last ball from the list and here now it's animate so what you do is look at this is you you're going to delete and all the balls now and now and redisplay every ball so this is here and when you redisplay the ball, so for each ball, you look at the location. And so this is, you're gonna display it right here. But along the way, you're gonna look at the, if this is uh, the ball's the current location, X is greater than the boundary, the width, you need to change the direction or if this is going the other way, less than zero, you're going to change the direction. So this is changing the horizontal direction. This is changing the vertical direction. And this is to display it. And the ball is tag is ball. So all the balls have the same tag. We delete it and you delete all. 
that is all for this case study on creating a game for bouncing balls. See you on the next video.